Hey everyone, today we are at Palm Beach RV in West Palm Beach, Florida, and we are going to look at this Alliance. The model number is 370FB. So let's get to it. Well, good morning, Lisa. How are you today? Wonderful. How are you? I'm fantastic. What do you think of this Alliance? I like it. It's, it's very roomy. <laughs> it is very spacious the way that it's laid out. It is. Right? Well, let me back up. When we first come in, right to your right of the door is your your panel, right? So these are manual buttons for everything in this coach, right? For all your slides, your awnings, everything that you need is right there. And it's up high enough so if you're traveling with kids, you don't have to worry about them pressing the buttons. There's a storage closet here with a little hanging rod up there. And there's also some storage up top there as well. All right. Then, as you see, what a nice big kitchen. Isn't this nice and look? The island is just the way you like it. Just the one side. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty of working space. Going you, you know what else I like? Okay. So look at the contrasting color. So we got the light colored cabinets here. And then when the kitchen ends, it changes color. It gives the space some separation. I, I kind of like that. It's it does. really neat. I like that as well. Yeah. So you have a nice big stainless sink. We have over here your four burner stove. This is a residential stove with the oven. Um, you have your convection oven, uh, microwave here as well as your refrigerator. Um, there's a pantry over here and plenty of counter space all over the place in here. Love that refrigerator. There's, did I say counter space? Plenty of storage space everywhere. Now, you know guys, you watch my videos, you know I always tap these shelves. Those ones are really thin, so you're not gonna be able to put a lot of weight in there. What I mean by weight, look guys, if you have a, a pantry at home, you got canned goods, right? And if you put, you know, any sort of amount of canned goods in there, they get a little bit heavy. So um, you'd wanna get those reinforced if you're gonna stock up on canned goods. All right, so we're at the very back of the coach, right? There's a beautiful sofa, three seats, um, folds out to be a bed, so if you've got some guests, you know, you uh, have a place for them to sleep. There's end tables to the left and to the right. There is power down here as well as USB. Um, and it's the same on the other side, which is really neat. Now, I don't know why I'm down here. If you notice, there's no carpet in this uh, coach at all. None at all. So it's nice and clean all the time. On this side is sort of your theater chairs. All right, they're not electric, they're manual. Let's see, this pulls down. Yes, it does. So you've got a place for for cups and, and stuff. And right across is your entertainment center. Nice big TV. It's a smart TV too, which is awesome. So if you're streaming, uh, uh, you know, you're, you're already connected. It's it's nice. So you can easily get your Netflix and Hulu and, and you know, do your Disney Plus and all that stuff on that TV, which is awesome. It's a nice LG. Down below, that is a pretty big fireplace. It really is. It's also, if you look in the mirror, it's got speakers there, so it's wired up. All right, so let's, let's move on. By the way, did you notice on the island, the detailing? Look at that. That is neat. So there's a couple other things. Look, look at the detail, right? Some really cool sconces up here in the woodworking. You know, sometimes I miss going over these things. You got some crown molding up there. I, it's just, you know, they put some extra thought into some of the craftsmanship, which by the way, for all you guys who just found us for the first time, thank you so much for stopping. We appreciate it. Do us a favor, smash that big thumbs up button. The YouTube algorithm loves it every time you smash that button. We appreciate it a lot. For you who've already subscribed, thank you for coming back. We really do appreciate you. We love you being part of the family. All right, now don't forget, if you're in the West Palm Beach area or you just want a great deal, uh, we're in Palm Beach RV. We've left the number down there. Give them a call if you want some more information, but make sure you tell them the tall man sent you. And as you came in from the door, look at this. There's a little bench for you to sit to put your shoes on and off. You got a spot to put your keys up here, which is nice, a little cork board. Just, you know, it's a little extras. And underneath, if you want to hang some stuff there. So I love that. All right, what's behind this door? Well, hey, you know what time it is. It's time for Tall Man's Toilet Test. <laughs> well, this bathroom just makes it. If you see down here when the door is closed, 
my feet would be just inside the door. Uh, it is a porcelain uh, foot flush toilet, which is great. Um, so all in all for, for the toilet. All right, now to my right, by the way, I don't know if you noticed this, but they are epoxy poured countertops, which is a little bit different. It's not solid surface. It's not the normal stuff. Um, so it's really durable. Um, under counter mount sink, which is great. Um, it's it's a little area as in depth, but it's it's wide. So there's some space on the left and right for stuff. As you can see, there's a little soap uh, dispenser here. Huge mirror. There's no medicine chest in here. Of course, of course it's not your primary bathroom, but a big mirror. And then down below, there's some drawers and some storage down here as well. So it's really, really neat. All right, so let's move on. Oh, there is a sliding door here, by the way, which it's locked right now. So if you're in the master and you want some privacy, you can just close this door. There's a latch just right there. You see that latch, right? And so there's a nice little separate, it's kind of like a barn style door, which is kind of neat. And it's, uh, it's pretty solid. All right, so let's get up into the bedroom. Now, I forgot my tape measure today, but that looks to be like an RV King, um, definitely, which is, it's, it's perfect for you tall guys. All right, just not quite residential King. As you can also see, there is charging left and right on the bed. Now, when I spin around, Right across from the bed is your TV. It's also a smart TV. I, I love that uh, the alliances have the smart TVs in them. That's awesome. Um, that's one of the things I upgraded in mine right away. Um, six, six drawers there. That is a nice dresser. And just to the, well, it'd be to your left, my right, <laughs> is a little bench, right? Let's see, is there a storage underneath here too? Yes, there is. So that'd be a great, again, a great place to sit and read a book or, or get dressed, put your shoes on in the morning. Just a really neat place. All right, let's get into the bathroom. Now, you can see from this toilet here, I don't really need to sit on that one. There is plenty of room in here. So this one right away gets... Now, across from there is your sink. Now, again, this also has the epoxy uh, countertops. Nice uh, mirror above, right? There's three drawers on this side, three drawers on that side, and you got some space underneath there as well. All right, so let's go ahead and climb in the shower. There you go, Lisa. Now, this is one of the longer showers that I've seen. I mean, this is... This is pretty long. Width-wise, not the widest I've seen, but it's pretty good. As far as height goes, as you can see, my head's uh, it's, it's up in the bubble. Um, and so that's pretty good. And the bubble, the bubble is a little bit to the right. If you're in here, there's about this much space to the left of the bubble, and there's about that much space to the right. So if this bubble, again, I know it's a skylight, the skylight was moved over a little bit it would be a little bit easier but uh it's fine it's in the, it's in a good place the shower head's also in a great place too so for you tall guys um this shower is definitely uh okay now before i forget there is a bench back here so uh you know if you're getting tired while you're taking a shower oh you can just take a load off yeah now if you're shaving or whatever okay all right, so let's see here. Now there are some mirrors in your closet door here. Um, again, for, for my wife, obviously you can see her with the camera. She could see herself at least in a little narrow. Again, my, my head's cut off, so. Um, but before I go in there, there also is a spot right here. And guess what I'd be putting there? Towels, right? There's your spot for your towels. Um, we, we talk a lot of bathrooms don't seem to have cabinet space for towels. They've thought about that here. All right, so let's go into the closet. Now to the right, if I open this up, that is a really big clothes hamper, right? So you put all your dirty clothes in there, which is kind of cool. Now this is pre-plumbed for washer and dryer, so you can do a stackable to the left. If you're not gonna do a washer and dryer, then obviously you have some more storage area, but this is where your, your washer and dryer would go. 
The rest of it back here, it, it's pretty generous storage-wise. You got a bar up here. Here's an interesting thing. Uh, we don't talk about this a lot. See how there's a little post right here? And then there's a little post down here. So if you've got clothes on here and there's no divider, when you're going down the street and turning a corner, everything goes this way. You turn the other corner, everything goes that way. When you've got this divider, it actually just helps the clothes stay straight. It's a small thing, but you know, that's why we talk about these things. These are just little tiny things to look for. Lots of cool built-in shelves in the back for stuff. It's a nice closet. I love this. Now we're a little bit tight here in this lot, so we don't have everything opened up. But as you can see, we do have an awning that goes from here all the way down to just past the door. And then there's another awning that's over that slide that goes out. So the awnings do cover most of the side, which is awesome. All right, this is gonna be where your propane goes, right? 30 pound tank. You could actually get a 40 in there if you wanted. Now look at this. Look at how big this storage is. This is absolutely huge. Now, one of the reasons why this is so big is this has got what's called a drop frame. You see that lower beam right there? Um, it's a little bit lower than the normal frame, so it gives you a lot more storage in the inside. And as you can see, the whole body itself is 101 inches wide, so it's a little bit wider than normal. This does have normal RV windows, which is pretty good. Um, it is warranted for full-time living, so this is a great full-time fifth wheel. Now, we get around to the back, as you can see, it does have a ladder here. So if you need to do inspections on the roof, the ladder is already there, so you don't need another one. It does have a bumper on the back, so if you want to put a hitch on there for some toys or accessories, it does have a hitch there already. Now, when we get to the other side, as you can see, there's two slides, which are awesome. Now let's see if you can get a good look at your tire setup. When the suspension, it does have the CRE 3000 or the Cree 3000, so it got upgraded suspension. Um, it does also have the six point level up system. All right, so you don't you just hit a button, a button, levels itself up. All right, this is where you connect your sewer and it does have a spot to store your sewer hose right there, which is kind of nice. It's already built in. Back of your water heater, back of your furnace. All right, let's get this opened up. So here's your wet bay. This is where you make all your connections for your water, as well as when you need to dump your tanks, there's the poles for the tanks, okay? Um, the only thing that I'd really like to see is if this was sort of separated, right? So it does have this little tray or little pan here, so if there is a leak, it goes down there, but it would be nice to see if that was completely separated. But I mean, just again, huge storage. So let's take a look at the numbers. There you go. Let's see, cargo capacity is 2792. Gross vehicle weight is 16.5. I can actually read it without my glasses. It's got the Rotoflex upgraded pin box, which is nice. Now down here, this would be typically where your batteries would be. And if you're gonna do a generator, the generator would go there. It's also where your inverter is kept. And this is also where the hydraulic fluid is for your level up system, right? Absolutely beautiful alliance. Hey everybody, so what did you think of this alliance, right? This is the second time we've been in an alliance. We love the quality alliance. Like with this model, you've got two-tone cabinetry, right? The, the bath and a half. We really love this floor plan. Let us know what you think about this floor plan. Leave, leave a comment below. If you've got an alliance already, let us know, all right? We, we'd love to hear from you guys, all right? Until the next time, be safe.